We are so excited that you're joining us today. And one thing that we all here love about you, you always speak your truth, whether it's co-parenting, candles, relationships, <laughs> you're always making headlines for pushing <laughs> against the norm. What can we learn from being unapologetically ourselves? I think that's really the key to everything, if I'm completely honest. I mean, I spent so much of my life when I was younger, not really fully allowing myself to love myself, to like myself. Um, and I think the older that I've gotten, the more I realize the power of truly taking the time to befriend yourself. And I think from that comes authenticity and my personality. So there, there it is. Funny, I think you've always been that way, but I like thinking about there was a journey to grow into that, which means there's hope for people to get there. I'm also <laughs> loving on your Instagram, it appears you're going more au naturel. Is that by design? Well, I don't wear makeup in my real life. Of course, I put makeup on for you today, um, but I'm not a makeup girl. I'm like a skincare girl, um, and I believe like in looking as good as you can from the inside out, but that's just me, how I look. So I don't know, maybe the older I get, the more I should think about putting makeup on before I go on Instagram, but no, that's, it's how I come. No, they say less is more, especially as you age. So it's working. And oh. speaking of all things beauty, Goop, you just celebrated 15 years. Huge congratulations on that. That's incredible. And I was thinking, like right now, there's more people in this space. You've been so gracious with Kourtney Kardashian, with Poosh and everything. Who helped you when you were starting out? Like, who did you get to look towards? You know, I started so long. I mean, 15 years ago, there wasn't even Instagram. So imagine I launched this in a pre-social time. Um, and I didn't have like some, a specific person to really look to in terms of, you know, somebody who had had a career like a, as a, as a movie actress, and then going to build a business. I think there are a, a number of amazing entrepreneurial women kind of in the same, you know, I mean, even Suzanne Summers, Jane Fonda had done her, um, you know, her exercise program. Um, and so I think there had been a number of women who had been entrepreneurial, but I didn't have a role model in terms of, you know, completely migrating to a new career and then building a business brick by brick, not knowing what I was doing, making every mistake in the book, you know, having to aggregate a group of mentors that I could call when I was going off track. I kind of did it the hard way. And I feel happy that you know, so many people come up to me now and say, I want to start something like Goop, you know, or I know I'm a singer, but I want to, my real passion is this, or, you know, so I feel um, honored that people see me as someone who kind of cut through the path um, to create this paradigm of how you can be more than one thing. Well, I'm a Goop girl from the oils to the candle to the toys that you sell. They are wonderful. <laughs> Gwyneth, the ice cream one I love. Um, <laughs> Gwyneth, you seem very centered, very calm, I think always. And he recently partnered with a meditation app called Moments of Space. Tell us all about Eyes Open Meditation, the one that they offer. So I'm really, really excited about this. Meditation has been a big part of my life for a number of years. And actually, people used to say to me, why don't you do a meditation part of Goop? And we do actually have a few meditations on our YouTube channel. But I, you know, we're busy with our core business. And when the guys from Moments of Space came to talk to me about what they were doing, I got so excited and inspired by their backgrounds and what they were trying to do, which was really to create a tool where everybody could access this kind of peace and oneness that we all have within us. And it's been an amazing thing to learn the eyes open meditation. I didn't even know that you could meditate with your eyes open. And I've always been a sort of sitting down and closing your eyes for 20 minutes. And the idea that you can, you know, be on a walk, be in a stressful meeting or like pushing your kid on a swing or whatever, and be deep in meditation. 
um, was really novel and, and really exciting to me. Well, you've been so great today. Let's end on a game. We're going to play Paltrow's Picks. We're going to give you three options and just pick your absolute favorite. Okay, we're starting off here. Okay. Number one, your favorite goo product. I mean, I know they're like your children, but if you had to pick one, Morning Skin Super Powder. I love that one. The Martini Emotional Detox Soak or the Goop Sex Oil. I love them all, but I'm going to go with the sex oil. Oh, the sex oil is good. Okay, they're loving that back there. Okay, here we go. Number two. Favorite wellness trend. We have sound baths, infrared Ooh. saunas, or cold plunges. And I want to point out to everybody watching, you were ahead of the curve on all these, Gwyneth. <laughs> I love all of these. I'm going to say, oh, if I have to pick, I'll, I'm going to pick sauna. Sauna? But you were doing mm -hmm. that cold plunge well before anybody else. That's so awesome. Uh, favorite cheat meal, pizza, smash burger, or fries? I mean, I, I smash burger, but you have to let me have the fries with it. Totally. That was a weak, weak sauce of mine. You got to double up. You got to do both. Um, you worked with so many great co-stars. Favorite co-star, Robert Downey Jr., Beyonce, Brad Pitt. We know you love your Brads. You had to pick oh, one. Oh, that's so hard. I love all these people so much, but I got to say Downey. I've worked the most days with him, and um, he's like a brother to me. Well, who would you like to do another movie with of those three? Ooh, I mean, I guess I'll just say Downey again because he'll be mad at me if he sees this and I didn't mention yeah. him every <laughs> chance I thought. Favorite iconic outfit. You've had so many, but here's what we curated right here. Your 1995 oh, Jefferson and Paris premiere. 1996, okay. that's that Gucci pantsuit that was fantastic at the MTV Video Music Awards or the 99 Oscars gown. I was the gear dad. I'm going to go with the pink gown. Because, yeah, it reminds me of my dad, too. Oh, really does. I think about that a lot, Gwyneth. Do you have a favorite Gwyneth era? I think 90s era um, Gwyneth is pretty, it's pretty solid. But um, I, I think I embrace all my eras, you know? It's like the amazing thing about, I don't know, being a woman and a mother and working and... I think we all have these different eras, these different chapters, and I'm looking forward to seeing what Empty Nest era yeah. looks and feels like for me. Gwyneth, it's coming for me, and I, uh, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about it. I feel like I'm throwing myself into more work. How are you feeling about it? It's a, I love that they're flying, but there's a little bit of a hole. It's, um, I know I think of my parents, I'm like, they seem to be great with it. I think it's going to be hard for me. Um, I, yeah, it's going to be hard. I'm like obsessed with my, all my kids, stepkids, biological kids. I love everybody in the house. I love the laughter. I love the friends and, you know, I love the mess and the snacks. And I just, I think it's going to feel, uh, I guess I worry it's going to feel very quiet and lonely, but I also feel very blessed that I'm in a great relationship and I love my husband and I, uh, maybe I'll get to say yes to more things, you know, more girls weekends or more, you know, I don't like to leave home because I want to be with them. And it's so finite right now. So maybe it's going to be, I'm just going to try to focus on my friend, um, Jennifer Freed said, don't call it an empty nest. Say you're going to be a free bird. Ah. So I'm trying to, and trying to reframe it. And more time to meditate with your eyes open. <laughs> exactly. That will be good. One word to describe where you are in your life right now. Exactly where I'm supposed to be. I like that. Still, calm. You can feel it. Well, <laughs> we love you here, and congrats on everything, especially your family. Just well done on everything, and the businesses, and such a, such a big fan. And uh, come to the studio sometime. We're waiting for you, Gwyneth. I know, I will, <laughs> and thank you for having me, and I love you guys, too. Thanks always for the support of all these years.